Yahoo! I got solar. Right, guys so this one's taken it back to about march 2020 um which is kind of a crappy time for a lot of folks but uh this is what i did with my time back at that stage of everything build episode number 22 hope you like it getting kicked out of the park i got a provincial health the park is now closed basically that's the end for camping out at Spanish Banks. It felt like very military-like morning to wake up to. It's like the guys on the microphone just wave. Move the vehicle, the park's now closed by government rule. And, uh, yeah. Whew. It's so cool to wake up. Normally I turn to a hero, so I was just like, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's full on Corona time. This place is empty. I think even the bar downstairs is closed. I'm not working, no job. It's done. I got time, I got material. I've got a new fridge, an inverter. Mm, I got two solar panels, woo! So these are the Eclipse panels from Renogy. They're two 100 watt solar panels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt together this seam right down the middle so that these panels are gonna be squished together just like that. And then um, two bolts in the middle, one for this panel and one for the other panel that go through this track. And then right here where there's a gap, I'm gonna use a spacing material to go right between there and there. You can see there's two screw heads right there and there that hold this part onto that part. So I'm gonna take this apart and see if I can drill through the mating of these two pieces so that I can secure it in this location. Otherwise, I'll probably have to move it out and secure it somewhere over here instead. I'm using a mirror and a little ruler here to measure out where I want the hole to be on the top so that it lines up with the screw hole from below. That way I'm not adding another hole into both of these roof rack parts. And here I'm using a caliper to measure out my drill depth. I really don't want this drill bit to go down through the piece and into the roof. So I'm going to cut a small piece of vinyl tubing just as a makeshift drill stop. The tubing will prevent the drill bit from plunging through the workpiece and into the roof. In general, this is a really cheap, effective way to control your drill depth when you're working in situations like this. So that's what it looks like with the bolt through it. I'll be able to get an Allen key on the other side to tighten this in place. And uh, I'll put a washer and a lock washer on the other side too, just so that it doesn't come undone. That'll work on all the corners, I think so.
think that the important thing is using a lot of future verbs about the numbers, which is a gigantic price everywhere around the world. This is the mess he made on the top of this roof end. He was eating some worm up here, and going at it. It's a little bit of like blood or something there, or something there. And he was messing around on my roof for a little while. <laughs> anyway, the other night I worked till about, uh, well actually by the time I cleaned up it was 2 a.m. All the screws were able to go in. There was just one that didn't work. And that's uh, this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is just, um, that's a round hole. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more like an oval hole so that I can get that screw in through there. That's the easiest way that I can manage that one. It's not easy doing this with a drill bit, that's for sure. What we really need is a, a milling bit. I mean, a tap might work actually. In a pinch, you can use a tap as a milling bit. So, of course, you shouldn't be using a cordless drill as a mill, but, okay. Okay, I'm going to give that a go. In a pinch, a tap. A tapping uh, bit like this will actually work like a milling bit. It's not the best thing because the threads are actually going to catch it and move it in and out. That's why I was going up and down with it. Um, but in a pinch, that works. So anyway, I'm going to give it that a try. Uh, so what I'm going to go do is install another riv nut on that panel where that one that uh, that last one is, and, and uh, throw it on here and see what happens. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We got it. It's on there. Woo. There's cables coming out the back. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, woo. <laughs> that looks great. Check that out. There's the cables. They're actually gonna slip in right in this gap right here and come down like that. That way I'm not drilling anything into the roof. I've taken out the center bolt right here, this hinge, and I'm gonna use a little sleeve like this. This is a washing machine hose just to help protect that cable as it goes through there. And then what I'm gonna do is go through this grommet. And I got some sealant on the inside of that bolt hole there. So, here we go, let's go right there so you can see. Right. Nice, eh? So that should be fine. And I, uh, I put a couple zap straps in right here. There's a little extra cable up in here, and the reason is to build a way to raise that up and tilt it to one direction or another. And having some extra cable there is gonna be handy for that. Woohoo! Yeah. I've got the wires going through here, and right now they're just in here they're not connected to the charge controller yet so i want to do that next and what i made here was i just took an old electrical box and fitted it with these breakers well, i've actually drilled spaces for two others these are probably just going to remain blank all right so there's the box i made a new cover plate on it uh, i just got rid of the other ones because it's pretty clear that all i need is one and uh not going to do anything more but i kept the other plate um going to hang on to that in case i need it for something later but there we go so that's for the uh for the solar positive solar is wrapped up with uh red electrical tape and then the other end of that breaker is right here and that's going to go into the uh top of the charger i just need to add on a lug and we're good to go Okay, so what I did there, I just took out a little piece of plastic there. So it looks like this, where you see it comes across and there's this little gap. And so I just took that out, 
so I get that extra wire down in here from the solar. I don't know why, like, they really need to rethink this because they want you to ground to the chassis, ground to the front battery, ground to the solar. You got three wires coming in here and there's really only like one little slot. You're not gonna get them all in, so. Anyway, that's gonna go in there and that's gonna be really tight, but I'm gonna have to shove that in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I got all those in. It's the negative, positive solar, last one to connect. And then there's the breaker for that. This shouldn't do anything because there's no sun, so. Anyway, that's it. That was trippy. So I uh, finished wiring that, that solar charger in and I could smell something and I was like, it smells like something's burning. And uh, I started to freak. I was like, oh fuck, did I did I do something wrong? Like, and so I started checking the wiring and checking the like, feeling for heat and all that sort of stuff. And then I was like looking around, panicking, going, oh my God. And then I was like, shit, something on fire in the studio. So then I was running around the studio because the parquet was like stinking like smoke. And uh, so I ran in the studio and I'm like looking around, I'm like smelling, no, it's good. Okay, where's it coming from? And then I'm like, shit, it's gotta be the van. I'm like, damn it. So I'm like looking everywhere around the van, like, and I'm like, okay. I closed all the doors on the van and then I got inside the van after it had been that way for a while. I was like, no, it actually smells worse on the outside of the van. So then I go to the ramp again, and then I smell it over by the ramp. I'm like, oh, maybe it's coming from here. So I go on the other side of the gate, and I start walking down. And sure enough, I can smell it more. Go down, go down, smell it more. Go down. And then on the sidewalk, there's a bunch of clothes piled up, and someone set them on fire. Um, and I don't know what else was in there. It almost had like a burnt sugary smell to it, too. Pretty familiar. So I just called it into the fire department. I'm like, uh, there's a fire. Uh, Someone's burning a pile of clothes on the sidewalk. And, uh, <clears throat> anyway, they pulled up their big fire truck and cleared it up. Damn, that had my nerves just going like crazy. It's like, oh no, what did I do? I'm just taking a drive right now just to see if I can get a little bit of sun and some voltage in those panels. Uh, although it's starting to look like there might not be any sun. I don't know how much sunlight I actually need for these to work. Okay, I got a 7 p.m. I'm running out of sunlight. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, 13 points, five, nine. Ah, that's still going on. Um, yeah, no, I'm not getting any sunlight whatsoever. Uh, okay, that's not working. <clears throat> Here goes nothing. Oh, there we go. All right, so it's solid red, which means it's doing a bulk charge. And it's been kind of going between that and flashing slowly, which is a boost charge. So that's pretty good. The voltage is at 14.8 right now. It's been kind of going up and down, but you can kind of see like, you know, clouds are moving by. So sometimes the sun intensity is pretty good and sometimes it wanes off, but that's sweet. I'm super stoked. <laughs> Woohoo! I got solar is running. <laughs> That's awesome. And no fires. That's super great too. Yeah, whoo. I got solar. 
Today's been a lot about just catching up on a few things. So um, in Canada, there's been a relief fund, emergency relief fund for, um, for just about everybody at this point, um, which is great because that actually applies to me now. Uh, the first one they rolled out was like, uh, it wasn't gonna work for me because I'm a contractor and I've got my own business. Uh, and I was a little bit worried, but uh, this I think is gonna um, take the edge off of it for a little while and uh, allow me to roll out a couple months. I definitely am gonna have to like, you know, not spend money and uh, really conserve what I'm doing, but it should allow me to keep gas in the car, keep the heater running, and um, I'm just so glad that I got this van uh, where it is now um, because, uh, you know, I, I, <clears throat> I'm actually in a pretty good position to sort of ride out the storm on this um, and also support my daughter and my, uh, my ex-partner through, you know, their levels of hardship as well through this. Um, but they're doing pretty good too. I think we'll manage through this now. As far as a uh, job goes, uh, coming out of this, I have no idea what's going to happen. Definitely having the doors to the yoga studio closed down and all of them is going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, I just hope that, uh, well, I mean, things are going to work out. I, I trust that, so so that's that. Um, anyway, I'm going to get started. Here's a general layout. That's where the fridge is going to go. I'll probably take the handles off. The next step here is kind of building in these cabinets here. 